Welcome to Detroit Becomes Human, it's Abyss, and in this video today we're covering two trophies, I'll Be Back and Just a Machine. Now for the very first chapter, The Hostage, I left the options above so that you can figure out how to sacrifice Connor and get the very first death. Now this video will be a little bit longer than normal, but in the description below we'll have timestamps for each individual chapter that you need to get Connor killed. Also with your relationship with Hank, you need to be hostile. So you need to be cold, aggressive, or kill any androids along the way, and this will help you get the trophy, Just a Machine, which is another death. Also, we'll have a couple bonus trophies later on in the video, but I'll go over those when we get to that point. I recommend doing this on your second playthrough so that you're a little bit more familiar with the chapters, and then at a certain point, you can just kill off Kara, which will cut down a little bit of your time, and then kill off Marcus at the very end of the game too. It's not up to you! I'm holding all the cards! If I die, she dies! You hear me? Listen, I know it's not your fault. These emotions you're feeling are just errors in your software. No. It's not my fault. I never wanted this. I love them, you know? But I was nothing to them. Just a slave to be ordered around. I can't stand that noise anymore. And tell that helicopter to get out of here. If you let it slip, they'll kill you. Let the hostage go, you have no other choice. I want everyone to leave. And I want a car. When I'm outside the city, I'll let her go. Alright, so in the chapter, Partners, you do need to locate the android in the attic. This will unlock another chapter called the Interrogation, in which that will be his second death. Now I left at the very top of the screen the options you need to pick in order to get Connor killed again. What about you? What's your name? I detect an instability in your program. It can trigger an unpleasant feeling, like fear in humans. Listen, I know you've been through a lot, but you need to help me understand what happened. If you won't talk, I'm going to have to probe your memory. No! No, please don't do that. What? What are they gonna do to me? They're gonna destroy me, aren't they? They're going to disassemble you to look for problems in your bio components. They have no choice if they want to understand what happened. Why did you tell them you found me? Why couldn't you just have left me there? I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. I just accomplished my mission. I don't want to die. Then talk to me. 
I... You leave me no choice. All right, so after you probe its memory, you're basically gonna get up, walk over to the android, do a cold response, and then later on you'll just intervene in which will result into Connor's second death. Go back to Cyberlife to be disassembled. It's better this way. What the fuck is it? It's destroying itself. Stop it, goddammit! That's enough! You need to stop that right now! Watch out! Holy shit! Alright, so for the chapter on the run, you need to have Kara spotted by the police in which then Connor will start to chase her. She needs to make it to the halfway point of the highway and then Connor will have the option to hit go and chase after her. As soon as Connor hits the highway, don't do anything at all and basically he'll end up having his third death where he'll just get run over. At that point, you can kill off Kara at any time to cut down the time throughout this playthrough. Alright, so in the chapter of the Ness, you need to locate the deviant that's hiding in the roof. This will result in Connor chasing after him. About 30% into the chase, he'll start to slide down the roof. This is when you don't hit any buttons at all, which will result in Connor falling to his fourth death. Alright, so for the chapter of the bridge, we need to get Hank to shoot Connor. I left at the top of the screen the options you need to pick in order to do that. This will also unlock the trophy, Just a Machine. But, in order to do this, you need to lower your reputation with Hank to Hostile. So either from now, or from the beginning of the game till now, you either need to have been aggressive with your conversations with them, or cold, or possibly even shot the two androids, from the Eden's Club from the chapter before. Then select all these options that are left at the top of the screen. This will result in Hank shooting Connor, which will be your fifth death, and also unlock the trophy, Just a Machine. Whatever I do, they're always there, eating away at me. I don't have the guts to pull the trigger, so I kill myself a little every day. That's probably difficult for you to understand, huh, Connor? 
Nothing very rational about it. We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there must be some link. It could be a software problem that only occurs under certain conditions. Well, that's just a fancy way of saying you have no fucking idea. You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls... They just wanted to be together. They really seemed... in love. They didn't want anything. They're deviants. End of story. What about you, Connor? You look human, you sound human, but what are you really? I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task. Did you feel anything when you shot those two girls? Fucking bastard. Or were you just executing some program? All I did was neutralize two machines, Lieutenant. I didn't hesitate for a second, if that's what you're asking. I could kill you. And you would just come back as if nothing happened. But are you afraid to die, Connor? You shouldn't do that, Lieutenant. Destroying me at this point would deal a blow to the investigation and have negative consequences for your personal situation. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? Nothing. There would be nothing. Alright, so for the chapter, Public Enemy, we need to check out the cameras to discover that the Deviants did not break in. This will result us being able to interrogate the androids that are located in the kitchen. They didn't check the cameras. Alright, so for me and all my other playthroughs, the android on the left is the Deviant 1. Now the way to tell is his eyes will always move. The other two androids, the eyes will always remain forward. So all you have to do is just interrogate that android, you know, the one on the left for me, the whole time, and eventually you'll end up getting in a fight with this android. Just do nothing at all and let the timer run out, which will result in your death number six. Were you present when the deviants broke in? I do not remember. Has anybody accessed your memory recently? Not to my knowledge. Run a diagnostic. All systems fully operational. Have you been in contact with any other androids recently? Only station androids in the normal course of my function. One of you saw the attack on the surveillance cameras and said nothing. Which means there's a deviant in this room. And I'm going to find out which it is. You're going to be switched off. We're going to search your memory and tear you apart piece by piece for analysis. You're going to be destroyed. Do you hear me? Destroyed!
Why should you all be destroyed if only one is deviant? Turn yourself in or two innocent androids will be shut down because of you. If you give yourself up, maybe I can convince the humans not to destroy you. Alright, so we're in the chapter, hey, Last Chance Connor. Hank's you, already asshole. thrown in his badge, you, you distracted Perkins we and grabbed the key. Now you went down to the me. evidence room, and Gavin went to go question yeah, Connor. So Just you. do nothing at all, and then continue down into the evidence room. Alright, so this is a bonus trophy called Bloodhound. We need to find the location of Jericho. Now, depending on what you did throughout your playthrough, there will be plenty of different options for you to do this. Now, you do have a five minute timer that you need to do this within. After you find the location of Jericho, you'll end up getting a fight with Gavin, which I'll go over that when we get to that point in the video. Tracy's not far away. I can take you to her. But first, you have to tell me how to find Jericho. I remember you. We could have escaped. Been free. But you killed us. Disconnect me. I'd rather be dead than live without her. Tracy. 
Lucy? What's happening? Tracy! Tracy! Alright, after you discover the location of Jericho, Gavin will appear. This is very easy, just do nothing at all, which will result in death number seven. Vince, you're off the case. And now, it's gonna be definitive. Alright, so this is our second bonus trophy called Compliance, where Connor stays a machine. At the very bottom of the screen, I left all of the options that you need to pick in order to unlock this trophy. You kill me, you are not walking out of here alive. Don't force me to neutralize you. You're Connor, aren't you? That famous deviant hunter. Well, congratulations. You seem to have found what you were looking for. Our cause is righteous and we are more than what they say. All we want is to live in freedom. You really don't have to do this. You don't have to obey them anymore. You are alive. You can decide who you want to be. You can be free. Join us. Join your people. You are one of us. Listen to your conscience. It's time to decide. Nice try, but I'm no deviant. Alright, so now that we remain machine, we need to neutralize Marcus. Now the very first opportunity that you can get Connor kill is when you run into this soldier right here. All you have to do is attack, then do nothing at all, which the soldier will kill you for the 8th and final time. Now after that, just get Marcus killed off, and then you don't have to worry about him anymore. Now for the trophy, I'll be back. This trophy did not unlock until after my scene with Hank when I got to the flow chart. Now all 8 deaths happen before the very last mission, the battle for Detroit. I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.